Now, I've figured that after a while without making any videos, I should just drop another one. And this one I've been planning several takes of, but now I think I really have a full grasp of this concept. Now, Fringe Elements, I follow for a long time. He's a really entertaining person. My favorite videos of his were from 2009 to 2011 because he usually tackled, I'm going to go out and say it, more interesting subjects, especially in psychology. I really loved understanding the mind of a schizophrenic, some of the more, I'd say, hmm, surreal aspects of his videos. And other things aside, things like that were really, really interesting. I liked exploring his mode of anti-statism. And because of that, it's a surprise that I really don't, other than the stupid day fooling thing, why I don't like that circular logic bald guy, Stefan. Because he really gets into the little intricacies of psychology and bending your mind and shit like that, but of course he does it in a more bullshit, cult-like fashion. Alright, so, yeah, I'm really fucking dirty and shit. When I recover from this sickness, I'll look sexy like usual. Now, for instance, to flesh out his plans for... I guess his outline for Falkism, where this time it's not specifically an anti-status ideology, it's, it does leave room for statism, but the whole point is a free market of law. This polycentricism, or polycentrism. Before he used this word, um, intersubjective consensus, although I don't think he uses that word anymore. I actually like that word just because, well, it's not a word, it's a term, but it's really interesting. And it sounds kind of cool. Or emergentism, political emergentism, not the philosophy of mind. He had a wide use of terminology he makes for ideas that he presents in a different light, but they're really old functional ideas of the past, which is why I don't really have a lot to say about his idea for this new political manifesto of his. It's not really new. I mean, he outlined it in 2012, like the later portion when responding to one of Grog's videos. A lot of it is borrowed from older stuff of the past. The transition from a dictatorship, a benevolent dictatorship that is, to his falkism. That's pretty okay. I think it applies very well for the West. I think that Ryan Falk still isn't a universalist, so I doubt that he's going to apply this to anything outside of that, but... Whatevs. Well, he can probably correct me on that, but he doesn't watch my videos. Peep the honey nut cherry was in the back. I thought I was going to take rid of that shit. <coughs> man, I feel like I'm fucking brain police, man. I'm dying in front of this fucking camera. You know how brain police, whenever he's making a video, he looks like dirty as all fuck? And then he starts coughing really deep like a donkey. Damn. Ugh. That sucks. I'm like the Hispanic brain police. Damn. I kind of even have the dirty ass hair. And I'm like a whack ass rock star too. So. Whatever. Didn't watch much of his videos. No. Although I don't. I kind of have an idea of what his positions were. Uh, 
I'm on a roll of these tangents, man. Okay. Now, there are some things that I have an interest in that are really interesting. Uh, polycentricism. One major theme of folkism is polycentricism or polycentrism. I never understood how to properly pronounce that shit. Cause, but you know, in my older videos, I was always talking about polycentric law. I do feel like it does solve the grievances of our voting war, our political dialectics. It really ends the politicism of law, which and gets rid of all this, all these social eternal conflicts and dialectics. Which is good, because I really can't imagine feminism in, or masculism, which is the MRA kind of thing, occurring in this kind of system. Granted, smaller places might be abortion land, but I don't think those places will survive within their own resources within all their own utilities and if someone is really trying to invest in something like this this that would be like a junk bond that would be that would be volatile that would be dangerous as an investment unless multiple people are investing in this kind of society then the corporatism of that would allow it to survive a little But I don't think people are dumb enough to corporatize this kind of system. And I'm talking about the old school definition of corporations where they're temporary, where it's just a bunch of people trying to reduce losses by pulling in their resources together. Because he, Ryan Falk does outline that for this system to start, all these little zones with their own laws and subscriptions to them and land and little territories those geopolitical areas someone needs to invest in that this is the free market take on law and it is a good alternative also to the overly adjudicated systems of law we have throughout the globe because it's, people are becoming dependent on things going to higher court. Not everything goes to higher court. And when it gets to higher court and something doesn't happen to your favor, maybe they did the case wrong in trial, well, then you're going to have to take it to Supreme Court, and Supreme Court's going to have to review the decision. Or you can just keep going back again. It's overly adjudicated and it's not efficient. Which is the nature of markets to raise efficiencies. And in general, uh, I could call it the diversification of law and social order is a must. This would probably be the mutual bond of it's of law, of custom, of any small little group, any small little society. And that's a word that I think a lot of people dislike, especially when it's thrown around like a fucking brick, but who cares? And I mean diversification in the sense that you're not putting your, all your resources on one kind of person. Not like how people use diversification in a social sense now where you need to throw in various races and groups of people and little ideologies and ideologues into one group and genders and identities for these genders and sexes and dichotomies and differentiations and all this sort of bullshit. 
And that's not diversification, that's consolidation, because you're consolidating them together into one thing, where if you put them all in different zones, these ideas, these people, it really does become diversified in that sense, in that financial sense. And when you look at it this way, while there are some flaws, especially if you consider what if someone, what if a group of people are really, really hoping that these involuntary groups and places thrive and they just start corporatizing it so that they can put in as much resources into it without that about the expectation that civilization is gonna fall under its own stupidity and there's gonna be a lot of problems with that but I'm pretty sure there's an easy solution that franchise in its head and that's not sarcastic because I could think of something as a solution to that but or maybe that's not gonna happen often because maybe these people are going to have an interest in different kinds of profit, not just the profit of their own ideas coming into full circle, which may never happen properly, but they'll still want that. A, a greed of solipsism, perhaps, that's how I should call it. I really hope you guys can hear me because I'm mumbling a lot more than usual, which is really emo and I... Pretty sure you guys don't appreciate that. But I am a natural mumbler when I'm not speaking up like this and trying to project and doing everything in my own power to make sure you guys understand what I'm saying, but I'm just going to mumble right now. Fuck you guys. Now, it's just law. It's just markets, while these things are vital, as subjects they're not very interesting. They're not. Fridge can make it interesting because he's a snarky guy, kind of like me, except perhaps a little more fleshed out and able to articulate those snarks better than me where I'm just gonna throw a tangent right before I say fuck you and, and that tangent would be suck my dick but we'll wait till the end of the video to say that <laughs> well it's well there, he has created a general outline for these views They're not traditionalist views, they stem from a little connected outline that he made of why this society sucks. It's overly controlled, it's not competitive, so because it's not competitive, there isn't this authoritarian system we're dealing with, we're dealing with a totalitarian system where you see the rise in college cults or People trying to be welfare kings by having a lot of kids or joining the military, which will make sure they have a pension for life if they play their cards right. Even if they are just reserve guys for six to eight years. Maybe even four, I don't know. Oh, you can't be reserved for four years. I don't think so. The contracts are usually six to eight. All in all, just saying this, how should I evaluate Fringe's new outline? While people from my mode of thought are critiquing it harshly because it doesn't really correspond with reality, this reality, this time frame, where Grug's views are at least trying to modernize themselves, who cares? Who cares? 